Hi everyone and welcome. I'm going to show you everything wrong as far as I'm aware right now with my 1998 Lincoln Town Car limousine. Starting with the body, obviously you can see it's not pretty. Previous owner did try to fix some of it. Didn't do a very good job and then just gave up and kind of bonded it. Not very good. You see there's holes here which cause water leaks. This isn't so bad. There's not so much bond. It's more just paint. More holes. <sighs> Pretty bad rust here. And then I've been um, gutting the interior so that I can expose the surface rust. Thankfully, there's no holes. So I saved it just in time. Uh, I see that's broken. Um, none of the electronics back here have worked. The lights are ripped out. So i got a lot of work to do. Um, but I think the lights back here not working might be because the second battery is missing, but I'll see Weather strippings Not very happy here. As you can see Really bad bondo up here, but underneath it seems solid Tail lights are a little cracked Not bad It's pretty nasty here and there. There's a hole here uh, Ugly wheels more cosmetic defects. Sunroof looks okay. It's a little wonky, but it works. More holes. More holes. That's really bad. So now let's uh, get to where we get really bad. Previous owner just did the brakes and uh, forgot to put the top caliper bolts on the calipers. So the brakes drag on the wheels. This side's really bad. I barely was able to get the car parked here. As you can see, it's like dragging down, but it's up here mostly. I did get a good angle there, but <sighs> the tires I came with were shot, dry rotted, almost completely gone. So I had to buy new tires for wheels I hate. This doesn't work. This works. The rear passenger window doesn't work. This is missing. Well, at least the door. The front seat looks beat up. It's the worst seat in the car. Not surprising. Aftermarket um, butt factory center console. Master seat looks okay. It's very slanted due to the build. That TV there. Got a hole there where the clock may have been. I'm not sure what this does. Second battery reader, which of course is no battery, so nothing happens. It does light up. Uh, the controls up here do things. It does control this privacy glass here rather well. And now let's proceed. Oh yeah, and then of course that panel was taken off, exposed. So next what we have, we had an actual check engine light on, the ABS lights on, and the airbag lights on. Sounds great. 320,364.6 miles, but runs and drives wonderfully. Just about to fix those brakes. So the airbag light has something to do with this being replaced. ABS, there's a broken plug under the engine bay, which is already diagnosed. Check engine light, I'll have to diagnose that ASAP. Overall, not too bad yet. Let's take a look under the hood. <sighs> Show you some more goodies. I don't even know if the AC works, to be honest with you. Oh, and right before I forget, because the fuel door handle doesn't work, can't open this, but there's an emergency latch in the trunk. So that's how I've been getting in there. Let's take a look at that engine bay. Oh yeah, it's locked. So that handle's very loose. The trunk latch is also kind of messed up. Looks like power steering's doing good. So the power steering has some leaky hoses. Not exactly where, but I'll deal with that soon. 
Um, overall, it looks pretty good. As far as I was informed, this engine was never rebuilt despite the miles. That might not be true. I'm not sure what these are for. I'll have to do a little research and then look at that. It's like a battery for an ATV. It's so little. So yeah, brand new, very insufficient battery. Cheap as you can go. Very disappointing. Um, there's some leaks, the power steering leaks. The boot for the power steering is missing. Um, but despite everything, runs wonderful. And, oh yeah, the front end was rebuilt. As you can see, that's definitely not factory equipment. They did an okay job. Needs an alignment front and back. Needs rear brakes, I'm sure. Parking brake doesn't really hold the vehicle all that well. Um, I think that's everything, yeah. So that's pretty much everything wrong with my 1998 Lincoln Town Car limousine. <sighs> now this is cracked. Big sad. Oh, the horn doesn't work. Uh, if I sound the security system, it will work. It's just the actual button. It doesn't even move. There you go. So that's episode one.